Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about your header image. Why am I going to be talking about your header image? Because a lot of people have been asking how to change their header image so that it's custom to their server. Why is that important? Well, think of it like this. Your header image is basically your handshake with a brand new player or an existing player. It's basically your first interaction with somebody that's coming to your server. So you want to make a good impression right away, right off the bat. So you don't want to have a default header image. You want to have something custom, something that you made, and something that tells your players what's going on on your server. So stay tuned. We're going to get right into it. What the heck? What kind of crap intro was that? Yeah, that's right. I've now gotten rid of my old intro. I'm still working on a new intro, but I'm tired of that old played out intro that I've been using for the last six months. So if you know of anybody that's any good at creating intros, make sure you put them in contact with me because I'd love to work with them. And not only will they get paid for it, they can put their own shout out right on the intro themselves if they want. Hey guys, welcome to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you the best tools and tips to owning your own Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to help you be more successful. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And while you're at it, you might as well click on the notification bell and turn on all notifications. It seems like the list of things that you guys got to do as viewers is getting longer and longer. And of course, if you take any value out of this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up for me. All right, let's get right into your header image. So like I said in the intro, your header image is basically the way that you introduce your server to brand new players. So you want to make it your own. You want to make it informative, but you don't want to have too much information on it. And to do that, it's super simple. Grab your favorite graphics editor, and it can be anything. It can be Canva online for free. It can be Photoshop. It could be Microsoft Paint. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be something that you can create a custom size canvas on. The size of your canvas has to be 512 by 256. So that's 512 wide by 256 tall. I am hearing that you can now do 1024 by 512. I haven't tried it myself, so don't take my word for that. I'll probably try it after this video though. I do know for sure that 512 by 256 does work. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on Canva, but like I said, you can do it on any graphics editor. Top left hand corner, create a new design. We want to use custom dimensions. We're going to do 512 by 256. And there we go. So now we have a canvas that we can start with. Now I'm obviously not going to make you guys wait while I draw this up. Through the power of video editing, you're going to see the finished product right and there we go. Now we have a header. So a couple of things about this header before we go ahead with uploading it and adding it to our server. So first of all, don't use somebody else's graphics. As you can see here, if you just Google Rust game images, you're going to come up with this exact background image. Don't do that. I'm just doing this for testing purposes. So make sure you use your own graphics. Don't infringe on somebody else's work. Secondly, you really want to spend some time putting just the right amount of information on your header image. You don't want to have too much information. You definitely don't want it to be too small. You want your players to be able to read it right away without having to like squint at it. The third point that is very important to remember about your header image is the bottom third of the image. Don't put any important information there. If you remember looking back at my example, actually I'll put it up on the screen right now. You can actually see that the bottom lower third of your image is actually starting to gray out as it blends into the information that's down below it. So you don't want to have any important information down there. So the next thing we need to do, we're going to download this image to our computer and then we're going to re-upload it to any free image hosting site. I suggest using Imager. That's where I host all of my header images and it works great. I've never had an issue. Okay, so I've just downloaded my header image to my computer. Now I'm going to upload it to Imager. Once you have your image uploaded to a publicly accessible domain, just grab the link for it. So we're just going to copy this link. Once we have the address copied to our clipboard, we need to take that information over to our batch file and insert the new CVAR. So the CVAR that we're going to use to add the header image is plus sign server dot image. And then in quotations, we're going to put our URL and it looks just like this. If you're using the same image hosting site that I'm using, which is Imager, it doesn't always put the extension .jpg at the end of your link. So you want to make sure that you add that in because your batch file won't read it properly unless it has that file extension on there. Then all we have to do is save our batch file and we would need to shut down our server in order for this to take effect and then restart your server. It'll grab the new information from the batch file and apply your new header image. Now that our server has restarted, Grabbing the new information from the batch file, we can head in game and search for the test server. So we should just be able to type SRT bull. Oh, it's in my history. Look at that. And if we just click on that, 
There we go. Now we have our new header image for our test server. So make a quick note of what I was talking about, about the lower third of the image. You can see how it starts to gray out there and it starts going into the server title and then the server description. You can see why you don't want to have any important information down below that line. So basically cut your image into thirds and you can use the top two thirds, but don't put anything down in the lower third. And that's it. That is as simple as I can make it for creating your own header image. It's a super simple process, but it's one of those tweaks to your server that you sh really should do. It makes you stand out from the rest. It gives you a very quick and easy and immediate opportunity to portray some information across to brand new players or even returning players. You can announce different things in there. You can have upcoming contests. You can put your gather rates or, or the different plugins that you might use on your server. You can put as much information in there as you want. You just don't want it to be overcrowded with information. If you're running multiple servers like I am, I'm currently running six, well, seven, including my test server, you can start creating a theme that goes across all of your servers. This is Primal Carnage. This is Primal Rage, Primal Fury. You get the point. Like, as you can see, there's a very distinct theme that goes across all of my servers. You don't necessarily have to do that. Not everyone is going to be running multiple servers, so that might not apply to a lot of people. But it is something that you can do. And, of course, here's my shameless plug, Primal Rust Unlimited. This is my pride and joy. This is the server that I spend the most time on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps out some people. And if it did help you out, you know what to do. Do me a favor, check out some videos on the right hand side of the screen right now. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video.